Good afternoon. My name is Gary May, and I'm the chair of the School of Electrical and Computer Engineering here at Georgia Tech. We're very pleased today to welcome our visiting guests. Uh, our school is the largest producer of electrical and computer engineering degrees in the United States, and we are the sixth ranked program in the United States. And among the very broad spectrum of research and education programs within the school is the University Center of Excellence in Photovoltaics, uh, our signature energy research and education program. We're pleased to welcome uh, Secretary Chu and Congressman Johnson to our campus today to uh, tour and visit the center as well as to offer some remarks. Uh, that center uh, is uh, ably led and directed by the founder, uh, Professor Ajit Rahaki, who unfortunately could not be with us today. He's traveling abroad, uh, but I'm sure he would extend his regards to all that are here to view our, our, our work in our center. Uh, that center uh, has been facing the challenge of uh, improving the fundamental education and understanding of science in the area of advanced photovoltaics for more than 20 years with support from the Department of Energy, uh, as well as training and enriching the educational experiences of our students in the field and providing some uh, uh, competitive advantage to the United States for uh, uh, the commercialization of the research. Uh, the real challenge in, in this area of research is in reducing the cost of the cells uh, while at the same time raising their efficiency. And the University Center of Excellence in Photovoltaics, or USEP, has been a pioneer in, in achieving those objectives primarily by uh, developing uh, advanced manufacturing processes such as rapid thermal processing and screen printing uh, to, to bring the cost down of the cells at the same time uh, maintaining high efficiency. Recently, uh, in 2008, uh, the technology that's been developed at, this, at the USEP Center spun off into a uh, commercial venture. Uh, the company's name is Suniva. Suniva is uh, located just 20 minutes or so to the north. Uh, that operation has been very successful, uh, was recently named among the top 10 promising venture-backed clean technology companies by the Wall Street Journal. Uh, Suniva is ably led by its CEO, John Bomstark, who I'd like to introduce, and John would like to say a few words. Thank you, Gary. It's great to be here today. And uh, as Gary mentioned, Suniva spun out of this center here at Georgia Tech, so we owe a great deal of our success to the center and to the support that we've received and the partnership that we've had with not only USEP but with Georgia Tech. Uh, we believe that this private-public partnership that we've had with the ongoing support of the Department of Energy is exactly the model of organization and of partnership that the U.S. should seek as it gains leadership among clean technology. Suniva's technology was born right here in our state. We manufacture right up the road in Norcross, Georgia. We currently export approximately 90% of our product overseas to Asia and to Europe, the balance of that going to the U.S. And we see the U.S. market growing rapidly, so next year we'll see a, a much larger portion of that staying right here at home. We've created approximately 150 jobs in the two and a half years since Suniva has been born. And of those jobs, very well-paying, clean tech jobs, jobs that are right here in the U.S. A profile of our workers include uh, displaced and laid off GM and Ford workers, other high-tech manufacturers that have not been as fortunate as Suniva to have the rapid expansion and growth that we've had. And we have about 30% ex-military veterans who are working for the organization. So a passionate, very skilled workforce that show up every day looking to drive U.S. leadership and U.S. innovation with clean solar energy. And with that, uh, the support that we've received from the Department of Energy over the years for this center, we are very grateful. And we thank Dr. Chu for being here today. It was great spending time with him. And we thank him for his leadership. He's shown tremendous leadership at driving the U.S. and aggressively setting targets for us to gain world leadership in renewable energy. So at this point, I'd like to introduce uh, one of our other local supporters, Congressman Hank Johnson. Congressman visited uh, Suniva back in February, and we were able to show him our technology. We were able to show him the skilled workforce that we've been able to build. And uh, Congressman, you need to come back and do another visit because we've expanded since you've been there, and I think you'd be equally impressed again. So Congressman, thank you for your support. Uh, thank you for being here today, and I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Today, the country faces uh, uh, issues simultaneously. The economy or jobs, uh, the environment, and um, education. The uh, job issue uh, is something that 
we need to focus upon in this country. And I'll tell you, when I went out to Suniva's plant out in Norcross, I saw a vast array of people working in the new blue collar production. Um, uh, it was producing these uh, 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 solar uh, uh, panels that 90% uh, 90, 90 of which are exported. So other countries are buying American products. And uh, uh, this is something that we need to continue because over 150 uh, jobs at just that one plant in Norcross with, uh, and of course uh, uh, more opportunities now given the fact that the United States government is, uh, is involved with stimulus money. The stimulus money, about $5.7 million uh, of tax credits uh, being issued to uh, Suniva means that they will now be able to invest in another plant which will hire about 500 uh, new uh, workers. And these workers uh, are veterans, these workers are male, female, educated, uh, some lower skilled, uh, but they provide a means for people to take care of their families. And so we passed health care, which will uh, open up about uh, four million new jobs. Now we are dealing with uh, our energy crisis, and certainly with the uh, oil spill down in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, that is a visual picture of why our country needs to lead the way, gain the competitive edge in research on these uh, types of issues, and uh, also produce the product that is derived from the research. So I do want to thank the people at Georgia Tech. Since 1992, uh, this uh, facility, uh, which was created by the Department of Energy, uh, has been spawning companies like Suniva. And so as we invest in education uh, and as we invest in job development, it helps our economy. It also helps our environment. I'm strongly committed to all of those principles and uh, I'm glad to be here today. Uh, thank you very much. And now I'm going to turn it over to uh, the uh, secretary of the Department of Energy, a man of scholastic, academic, and administrative uh, prowess. Um, and he is our new leader at the Department of Energy, so I want to, with no further ado, uh, introduce Dr. Stephen Chu. Thank you, Representative Johnson. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, when this Center uh, of Excellence was first started in 1992, I was, I'm was i proud to say that the Department of Energy gave it a first of uh, a series of five-year grants. You were on the fourth five-year grant. Uh, so it's, it's wonderful to see not only the exciting things they're doing here, but to have, uh, have them spin off a company that is now having creating jobs, uh, creating wealth in the United States, uh, and uh, creating uh, a pathway to a solution to our energy and climate change problems. Uh, it's it's a wonderful. I'm, I'm I'm sad that I couldn't meet the uh, the founder of the center, uh, Dr. Rajit Rohati. But uh, in any case, it's um it's a wonderful thing to see centers like this uh, create intellectual property and go beyond that and and really create uh, new industries. Uh, as was mentioned before, um, a lot of the things that uh, President Obama and the administration with uh, the support of Congress are doing um, has to do with getting the economy back going again. The, the Recovery Act um, has invested uh, uh, $350 million through the Recovery Act in Georgia alone. Uh, this includes a lot of things, weatherization, energy efficiency, uh, tax credits. In Atlanta, uh, there have been $15 million investments in a smart grid technology, uh, which is uh, also wonderful. Um, um, 
also happy to be here. You may, some of you may know that uh, I will be giving a commencement address tonight to the graduates, uh, the master's and PhD students at Georgia, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, uh, I have to say that um, I also am looking forward to that uh, one of my students uh, in my group, I have about 30 students and postdocs who have gone on to become professors uh, of universities all around the world, and beginning this year, I've finally got one in Georgia Tech. <laughs> anyway, but it, uh, very glad to be here. Thank you.